What's up everybody, it's Coach Kramer. Today we're breaking down one of the most effective two foot finishes, the Pro Hop. In this video, we'll break down not only how to do the Pro Hop, but the two most important situations of when you should use this move. So I'm gonna rep it out again from the elbow, but I'm going straight down the lane line. And as I take my last dribble with my step, I see that that defender is coming off where that cone is. I'm gonna change direction and land in the middle of the paint. Now I want you to work on going right up into a hook for this shot. Here we go. Okay. Step. Okay. Step. Up. One of the reasons why this is such an effective move is because any time that we can get to the rim and we're landing on two feet, we can give ourselves a variety of finishing options as well as giving ourselves more time to read the defense and make a decision on whether we should shoot or pass. The first two shots I recommend working on off of the pro hop outside of just your basic two foot layup will be the jump hook and the floater. These are two great shots to practice because the pro hop is a situational move. So understanding that you're pro hopping because there's going to be defensive pressure it only makes sense that you can add the jump hook and the floater and they'll go right in line with when you would use the pro hop as a move in a game. Now it's one thing to know how to do the move. It's a completely other thing to use it in the right situation. Your most common situation to use it is when you hit beating your initial defender and the help side defender steps up to stop you. Being able to pound the last dribble hard and change direction with your pro hop is a great way to elude that help defender who's trying to stop you from getting straight line to the rim. Now I've used this example in the next one in slow motion because the next most important situation to use it is your on ball defender who's cutting you off from the back hip. You can use the pro hop to slice back in front of their body and seal them on the back. Watch this on ball defender as they lock and trail on the ball screen Boom, and we use the pro hop to come back across their body to cut them off before they can cut us off on the drive. One more thing I wanted to mention, listen to how loud the gym is on this next clip. I'm not gonna lie, the horns were a little weird and distracting the first few games, but like anything when you're playing basketball, you just kind of tune everything out once you get in the flow of the game. So when you do this move, a hard, explosive last dribble, Get low on your pickup, you're here, low on your pickup, launch yourself into a strong position, pop up and score. Thanks for checking out our video today. Be sure to like and share our video if you found it beneficial. Be sure to subscribe as we give out two new videos every single month. And as always, I hope you have a great day.